welcome back to bad wolf Bobby, and today I'm going to talk about my skincare routine so I started really I've like always washed my face and had a moisturizer but like really getting into skincare last January February ish and I have seen a drastic change in my skin and this is a mixture of drugstore and prestige brands I think is the correct term so uh, no need to ramble let's start with what I wash my face with so in the shower yes I wash my face in the shower I know they say you shouldn't do that but I do I use the survey hydrating facial cleanser I this bottle is almost empty love it already repurchased another for when this one's empty really gentle really like it for at my bathroom sink I am using the St. Ives hydrating daily cleanser watermelon smells good um, it doesn't like leave my skin extra dry or anything so and when I exfoliate I do it in the shower and um, I do it two to three times a week just depends and right now I'm using the Bliss Micro Magic and like you put it on, you scrub it on and then you leave it for I think it says one to two minutes and then rinse well. This is better than the other exfoliator I was using before that that I got in a Fat Pit Fun and this is like $13 at Target. It is so awesome. So after I cleanse my face I use toners and I have two well technically three but I don't know where the other one is I have the glow tonic by pixie that's a chemical exfoliant that I use um, one to two times a week I just put that in my skincare routine though so I'm seeing how chemical exfoliating works for my skin but otherwise I've been using the Murad Resurgence Hydrating Toner for three years. I really, really love it, but it is really, really pricey. So I was looking on Target and they had a replenishing watermelon toner by Bliss. And I thought I would try it to see if I liked it as well as this one. And so far I do. Um, I decant them into smaller containers. And put them in I have a skincare fridge yes I am over the top I got it on Prime Day but from Walmart <laughs> I paid like $29 for it but I have a skincare fridge and I have to can them into smaller spray bottles including this one and then I spray them on my face cold toner feels amazing but this one is like under $15 it works really well this one though is 40 it also works really well though after toner I like to put on my eye cream so on days that I don't wear makeup I use a lot of survey products I don't know, survey I have their eye repair cream and then I have I got this on clearance I don't think that you can get it anymore it's the julep so awake to puffing gel eye cream I got it because it had caffeine in it on the days I wear makeup. I'm probably going to go back to the Origins Ginseng when I run out of this one. But I really like the ones with caffeine for under the eye on the days I wear makeup. But on the days I don't, I really like the, the survey. So serums. I have two. On days that I'm not wearing makeup, I use the Survey Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I really, really like it. And then on the days that I do wear makeup, I use the Origins Original Skin Renewal Serum with Willow Herb. Um, this stuff is amazing. I've already bought a backup because I'm pretty sure I'm really close to being done with this. And it is so good. Oh, 
I'm sorry. I forgot to talk about after toner, I use an essence. I use the Origins Original Skin no matter what I'm doing that day. Um, you just use four to five drops to tap it on. I, I've really noticed a difference since I started using an essence. Uh, I really like it. I have decanted it into a smaller container into the skin fridge also. <laughs> it feels really nice. And then I have an oil, um, an ultra repair cannabis oat and cannabis and oat dry oil. It's first aid beauty. I use this probably three or four times a week. I don't use it every day, but I do use it quite often. I got it last spring and I really enjoy it. I've noticed a difference in my skin since using an oil. Now moisturizers, I have two. On days that I'm not wearing makeup, I use, or at night, I use the CeraVe moisturizing cream, which some people will say is not for your face, but my doctor recommended it for my face. Um, some people will get the little bumps from it being too moisturizing on their face. I have extremely dry skin on my face. I deal with eczema. Um, I don't know if you've watched any of my videos from last winter, but I had a, a real bad patch of eczema right here. So they recommended the moisturizing cream. And I bought the big tube with the pump so I wouldn't have to stick my hand in it. And then on days I wear makeup, I use the Original Skin by Origins Matte Moisturizer. This is my second tub of this. I love this. And for sunscreen, because my, none of my moisturizers have sunscreen in it, I use the Sunbum uh, Premium Sunscreen Face Lotion 50. I really like this a lot. Like a lot, a lot. There's another brand that I want to try, but this one doesn't break out my skin. So like, do I want to try the other one or do I just want to stay with the one that leaves my skin happy? And so mask, I do mask. I use sleep mask probably once a week. Um, I have a deluxe size sample of the water, the glow recipe watermelon sleep mask. I really like it. And then this sleep mask is the Banana Sleeping Mask by Tony Moly. I enjoy it. It smells like bananas. I, I enjoy sleep masks. Talking about masks, the other kind of mask, I for like when I have a zit, I do not use this all over my face. I just use it on zits. Philosophy's Purity Made Simple Pore Extractor. I just use this on zits. I really like it a lot. And then I have the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask. I just really like the whole Origins Original Skin line a lot. So what do you use for skincare? Do you have as many steps as I do? I do have some sheet masks that I use occasionally. I'm just trying to use up what sheet mask I have. I don't think I'll purchase a lot of sheet masks again. And then I have some other tube mask but not they're not my favorites i'm just trying to use them up if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you for watching and have a great day Pretty